Hi everybody. This is gonna be another quick video because the wind is really bad here and nobody likes the wind noise. Um, but I wanted to talk today a little bit about early garden disappointments. Um, this is the first year I'm doing my garden like this. Um, last year was my very first year doing a garden. So here, there's just, I love the way it's going. I love the way it looks. Just everything is doing really well growing. Uh, but there's a few things that I probably will do different next year, but I'm not going to know for sure until the end of the year, um, growing season, I should say. But um, some of the disappointments are, I was a little having a hard time with the beans at the beginning of the year, and I really wish I would have planted more green beans. Um, I just don't feel like I have very many. A bunch didn't come up because they are very hard to grow here. Um, and then I have these purple ones. They are, they're doing good. They've been eaten a little bit by the deers on the end, but they're still doing good. But I keep feeling like I didn't plant enough, but maybe I did because there are some plants over here that do have a whole bunch of these little tiny purple beans on them. So maybe once they actually grow up and they look like real beans and I can pick them, um, maybe I won't feel that way. Maybe I'll end up with tons of them. Um, I just don't know. It's the first year I'm growing these. So while I, I do feel a little disappointed right now that I didn't plant more, I think I'll probably end up with enough and and it'll all be good. But we'll see. Because right now, like here's one right here. There's a couple. And they're just little. They're long, stringy. I don't even know what they're really supposed to look like. But I'm pretty sure they're still supposed to be bigger. So, um, right now there's a little disappointing, but I think things are going to get better. Same thing with the green beans. I don't know why I haven't gotten a single green bean off of these, but I think there's buds on them. Um, it's just hard to say because I haven't grown beans before. So, it seems a little disappointing, but maybe it'll turn around and everything will be okay. And I'll end up with beans. The cucumbers, oh, I tried with these cucumbers. Um, and I've gotten, I've actually gotten a lot of cucumbers already. I have a couple here that are picked because I keep finding them under here, but I keep pruning them. And then I'm like, am I gonna kill them off? Am I pruning too much? Am I pruning not enough? Um, it does it looks like I'm not pruning them enough is what it looks like to me. Um, but what is this mess? And how do I get the rest of these um, stake, get them growing up on the trellis? And everybody says you should see the ground and I cannot see the ground and it's hard to water them. So do I just need to keep pruning them? So this one, I'm more just disappointed in myself that I can't figure out how to get these cucumbers up off the ground and up onto the trellis. I mean, some of them are. I've got a bunch of them trained already. Um, and then I have a bunch with holes. I think that was from Japanese beetles yesterday. So that was kind of a bummer. I think there's some powdery mildew might be starting. But I, they're being pollinated. There's tons of flowers. There's tons of pollinators. So I guess I just wait with those. Um, this is that batch. That there's a ton of weeds in here. There is some bug on here. Ugh, looks like a stink bug. I don't know why there's so many stink bugs in the garden this year. Um, but there's bumblebees pollinating. And I am finally getting a few cucumbers here. Like here's one. These are supposed to be the slicing ones. The other ones were the pickling ones. So they're growing. But there's not many on this plant, on these plants over here. And these have not done as good right from the start. And these I have pruned quite a bit more. And I do have them trellis better. Or I'm trying anyways. They're, these just are not growing well. And there's weeds. Like this is a weed growing up right over past the cucumbers. So tons of weeds in this bed. That's just disappointing. There's a nice cucumber. It's the first time I've even seen it, so it must have grown a lot today. Um, so maybe I'll start getting some in a couple days. 
those two beds that I never got planted. I could have plants growing in those this year. That's disappointing that I never got anything planted in there. Um, these are those late tomatoes. They are hanging in there still, but they don't look great. And I have no trellises for them. Um, these I planted probably at least 12 cucumbers over here because I just wasn't it just was enough. I was planning on doing four beds this year. So I only got those two done and I don't know. I don't know how well they're gonna keep doing. Um, so I planted quite a few more cucumbers over here and they're just, they're coming up. That's a weed actually. Um, so there's some coming up, but they're just growing very slowly. Um, just like everything else did in the garden this year. This one, I have a lot of weeds along the side. That's a little disappointing. So there's a lot, here's another cucumber. So I think in a couple weeks, I'll probably be feeling better. But right now I just, here's my row cover. Just, I'm disappointed that I didn't do this bed sooner because I think these are, and we've got some little cabbages growing in here now. But tons of pickles. So I'm just kind of bummed that I didn't get a row cover on here earlier. I'm loving the way that that other one works. I have to finish that today though. Um, tomatoes, they're, they're doing great. There's there's a bunch, bunch of tomatoes now. So that makes me feel a little better because it didn't seem like I was ever gonna get the actual tomatoes. It's lots of flowers. on that a little bit every day. I am getting quite a bit of zucchini now and it's just always amazes me how fast zucchini grows. I mean that's just there from like yesterday. Um, there's another good one but then I have that one looks like there's a bunch of zucchinis but then I have these over here that aren't really doing much of anything. There's some babies on there so hopefully they're gonna come up but this one just will not grow. I don't know what I did, but that one won't grow. Um, yeah, I got the dill is still doing great. The peppers, um, you know, like you just, I can never, I always think they're just never going to be done on time. They're, they're just, <laughs> they're just little, but they are starting to bush out now. So I'm pretty sure they're going to hopefully start making peppers soon. They're so pretty. I don't mind. They're just here, just looking nice. So. It's okay. I mean, look at these. They're doing really well now. They're really starting to get more leaves and filling out. So I would expect there to be peppers pretty soon. I just I can't believe it's the middle of July already. Today is July 16th. Um, and there's just not there. Like, none of these tomatoes have blossomed yet. So it's just, I don't know. It's this part of the year I start thinking I'm not going to get anything. And then all of a sudden everything comes up. So, so hang in there. If things aren't going the way you like, they will get better. I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping anyways. That's how, that's what happened last year. It was not this late, but it was late and then things came up. Um, I did like these beets. I put a ton of beet seeds in here and I've only found like three actual beets in here. The rest is all these weeds. The weeds are always disappointing to me because no matter what I do, I end up with a ton. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these zucchinis, this is one disappointment that is done because these zucchinis, three out of the four actually came up. These were supposed to be my bait zucchinis. Um, hopefully they're just going to be zucchinis now since there's the couple over there that didn't work really well. So now I'm just hoping that they come up and maybe I can start getting stuff out of them. The first peppers are looking great. So I think so. I know about this time of year, if you start feeling disappointed, just hang in there because I'm pretty sure it will start getting better within the next couple weeks. There's a lot of weeds in here. Oh, there's another big ugly bug. Um, so these all have blossoms on them. 
there's always like there are all these blossoms and no tomatoes because really there are no tomatoes in here so they're all just blossoms there's tons and tons of blossoms but there were a couple tomatoes but i don't even see those right now yeah so they'll come they'll be here just give them a couple weeks and then i'll have so many Hopefully, that I won't know what to do with till the hornworms come and eat all the plants down. <laughs> Look, here is two. There's two tomatoes. I didn't see these yesterday. So, so see, there is hope. There is hope. If you're not seeing much progress, you will. It's just, this, is, uh, this is just a time to let the plants grow now and let everything start coming up. And it'll get better. It will probably get so better and you'll be have so many vegetables you won't know what to do with them okay at least hopefully you have enough for you but <laughs> just kidding um yes so that was, that was that's it for today i know things are gonna get better it just doesn't seem like it right this minute but it all will so hang in there and um have fun in your garden just let it grow and you'll be glad you did so have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and have a great day.